Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to the next part of design of compression member. So here, in this, I'm going to focus on design of doubly uh, sorry design of double angle strut members. Okay, so double double angle strut members means angles are used either on one side of the gusset or angles are used back to back to the gusset. Okay, so double angle sections. If they are generally they are used in trusses, definitely uh, for principal rafters, for tie members, okay. In case of roof truss, similarly top cord member, bottom cord member. In case of uh, through type of truss, deck type of truss in bridges. So <clears throat> these we are going to design in this lecture. Okay. So first of all. first type of example if question asked to find out load carrying capacity means design compressive strength of the member is asked okay and the given data is 2 isa 150 by 75 by 10 mm which is connected on either side of the gusset plate back to back okay <clears throat> the thickness of the gusset plate is given 10 mm length of member is 3.5 meter okay this is one and the in second case the both angles are connected on either side of gusset plate so this is the second case given so out of these so these are the two possibilities that we can use the angle section either we'll use back to back two angle sections or we can go with single angle on one side uh, sorry both angles on one side of the gusset so okay so we are going to determine the load carrying capacity means design compressive strength of this section as well as this section separately so if any question ask you can solve it okay so let us go with first now so where we are going to determine design compressive strength so what is the first step first of all find out the properties of the section right so properties of the section so we are going to solve a when two angles are on either side of gusset okay so this is the case for which we are going to find out load carrying capacity of the section so first of all properties of the section we will find out okay so <clears throat> using steel table okay so using steel table we'll get the property of these sections so gross area we required so use two angles back to back properties okay so don't use single angle properties okay so the double angle properties uh, two angles back to back properties of two angles back to back are available in steel table you can refer that okay so it starts from page number 34 of steel table so for unequal angles where longer leg is connected to the gusset r starts from page number yes page number 38 okay so 150 by 75 by 10 mm is the angle section okay so 150 by 75 by 10 is available on page number 40 okay so refer page number 40 see without understanding how we are going to select the properties these examples are very difficult to solve so you must able to write the properties clearly you have to pick the property clearly from the steel table okay so 150 by 75 by 10 whose cross sectional area 43.12 so 43.12 Centimeter square means four three one two mm square. This will be the area that we will consider. Fine. Now, what we required minimum radius of gyration is also we required. So R Z Z R Y Y. Now think here do two angles are back to back. So if you observe the Z Z axis, this one is Z Z axis, okay, and this one is Y Y axis. for this example fine so if you observe for single angle whatever be the zz axis remain same for double angle also so radius of gyration about zz axis remain same whatever be the radius of gyration of single angle okay or here also the 
R X X, whatever given in steel table, is nothing but R Z Z. Okay, so from double angle properties, you can easily get the value that is R Z Z. So you can pick that. So R Z Z means R X X from steel table. It is forty eight point four point eight one centimeter. It means forty eight point one mm. So R Z Z we get. we don't know whether r z z is minimum r r y y is minimum it totally depends on the gap between the two angles that is thickness of gusset plate so we need to find out separately r z z and r y y okay so r z z we get it is 4.81 so 4.81 cm it means 48.1 mm okay now what about r y y so r y y is totally depends on the gap between these two angle sections and if you observe gap is 10 mm it means you have to pick the property from steel table here it is specially mentioned on page number 41 radius of gyration about y y axis in centimeter distance back to back of angles